be a, a good final uh, place to end would be the place of, of free will in this in this picture is this one where at the beginning of kind of creation there's a, a kind of a will inside the interactions of the conscious agents or is it a kind of naturalistic deterministic unfolding that doesn't require any kind of free will the way that i'm looking at the mathematics that i've got right now is that there are probabilities that arise in the mathematics of the conscious agent dynamics and i'm interpreting them as free choices uh, so where, where, where I see probabilities, I'm interpreting it as free choice. And what emerges then is a very interesting theory of free will that's non-trivial. Each agent has its own contribution of free choice. When agents combine, they make new higher level agents, which then have their new autonomous level of free choice. And there's a boundless range of new levels, each with its own autonomous contribution to free choice. So there are bottom-up free choice contributions that influence the agents above, and there are top-down free choice um, influences that affect the free will choices below. So no free, no, no one has absolute freedom, no agent has absolute freedom, but has genuine freedom. So this leads to a, a, a dynamical systems theory of, of free choice that, that looks really quite rich, and so it's going to be a, a really fun theory of free choice, but, but I need to say something about an objection. That, that people give, and that is that, that free will is no explanation. It's a dead end. It, you can't choose what you're going to choose. The very notion of choice ends in darkness. You end with this just raw, unexplained thing. And therefore, and, and that's a reason to just dismiss the whole notion of, of free choice, even if you've got this nice you know, simulation and top down and bottom up, you know, the, the very notion of free choice itself ends in darkness, um, and so we we won't have any of it. It does end in darkness, but that's not a unique feature to free choice. That's a feature of every single scientific theory that has ever been proposed. Every scientific theory makes what we call assumptions. And that's a very clinical, safe sounding word. Translate it as miracles. Every scientific theory has the miracles, the place where that scientific theory ends in darkness. There is no theory of everything. We always hear about the theory of everything. No scientific theory explains everything. Scientific theories always say, please grant me these miracles. This is where my theory ends in darkness. For example, grant me a notion of causality. Well, what causes a cause? It's the same kind of thing as what's, how do you choose to choose? It ends in darkness. The notion of causality is a primitive notion that ends in darkness. So if you want to have deterministic causes, I can use the same argument. That is a notion that ends in darkness. But that's the way science and scientific theories always go. They have assumptions that are miracles. That's where my theory ends in darkness. Now, I might get a new theory that doesn't have those miracles, right? And maybe I assume space-time is my miracle, but then someone else can use, well, I'll use quantum bits and quantum gates, and I'll boot up space-time from quantum bits and quantum gates. Great. Now, space-time isn't your miracle. You've explained space-time, but you have a new miracle. You have quantum bits and quantum gates. That's your miracle. Because right? you're not saying where they came from, you're saying, please grant me these, and then I can explain space-time. And science will always and only be doing that. It will have theories that end in darkness, in miracles. We call them the assumptions. That's the nice, clean, clinical definition that we give, or the, the sounding word that we give. But these are the places where our explanation absolutely stops. So the, making that objection against a theory in which free will plays a role um, in saying, therefore, we, we, you know, free will is in some sense special. It ends in darkness, like, and no other scientific theory ends in darkness that way. That completely misunderstands how science works. science works. The way science works is you get to pick your miracles, but you will have miracles. The goal is to have as few miracles as possible. And then once you pick your miracles, then you play by the rules that those miracles set. And science can do nothing else.